Hey, what up, what up? Just want to make a quick video. Um, this is about um, Ben Davison responding to the cheating allegations. Um, this is Independent UK. So let me read what he had to say about the uh, cheating allegations. Quote, look, there's a commissioner. There's nothing in the gloves. It's ridiculous. Davison, who trains Fury for the first fight against Wilder. Quote, something came out about the sparring as well. It is absolutely nonsense. You got a commissioner with you 24-7, even in the lay. I couldn't give Tyson any electrolytes, powder, things before his fight because they said it's got to be sealed. It was sealed. There were arguments with the commission about that. They are on it. Everything 24-7. Quote, the opposite teams are watching him tie his gloves. How can he tie his gloves? Get it taped. Pull his hand back out. Put it in the middle of the glove and redo it. It's madness. Another quote. It's the way Tyson throws shots because he throws what are called throwaway shots. So sometimes he'll throw a punch at you that he's not intending to hit you with or intending to damage you with to make you look here or think about this. Sometimes he may throw with an open hand flick. An open hand flick it out to make you think about this. Occupy you with something to hit you with something else. Another quote. That's what you're looking at. He's flicking something at. He's, he's flicking something out. There's nothing in the glove situation. Believe me. Best of all, they are all different makes of gloves. One says it was with the Everlast gloves. Then it was about the Paffin Sport gloves. Then I've seen videos on the Waldemar Klitschko gloves, which are a different type of Paffin or Paffin Sport gloves. It is nonsense, isn't it? There's always something, isn't it, there? You're you are going to get it. Here's on top of the world. So people always want something to say. So that was the last quote. Um, he said, you're always going to get it when you're on top of the world, basically. So um, this is my comments towards his comments. Um, you know, reading um, his comments, he's basically saying that the commissioners... Um, the commissioners um, are always on top of these things, basically, what he's saying. And that also, he also said that the other team, the old opposite team, are also in the, the um, opposite team's um, dressing room when they're... Um, Getting, getting their gloves tied, and which is true, and which should be done. But how do we know this as viewers, or as people who pay to watch these fights? You know, you know, you telling us that does not um, convince us that this is what is being done, or this is what is righteously being done. You're telling us this, but that doesn't mean that this is going on, especially. When the cameras were cut off right before Tyson Fury's um, gloves were being um, tied. So what are you telling us? You know, this doesn't really, if you're trying to convince somebody, this doesn't really tell us anything. You know, um, and then he begins to talk about how Tyson Fury, you know, boxes and how he uses punches and now how he uses some punches as throwaway punches. And let me address that. 
fighters do do that. You got fighters who um, stick their jab out or stick their hand out to like kind of blind the other person. Or you got other people who just do throw you know throw some jabs, but they're not really hard jabs. They're not even soft jabs. It's just something to blind the person. But clearly in the video, when we see Tyson Fury gloves flapping, those are not throw away um, jabs. Those are not throw away jabs. Um, and let's say that, okay, let's say that they were throw away jabs. Because some of those jabs that they say they call flicking, that he was flicking at his face, those weren't necessarily hard jabs. I, I could, I could, you know, I could say that. But who, how you can convince us that those, that he didn't have anything in those gloves? The way it was moving like a bag, like in a bag motion. And then you got other people are going to say, well, um... You know, it's probably the kind of uh, gloves you had would have had this kind of like horse hair or whatever. So you got different variables of people going to say different things. But that still, that still doesn't negate the main issue. And no one's addressing that issue. So we can throw all these other scenarios, variables, because we'll never know what was in that glove. Shoot. Like, let's be honest. We can be honest and say maybe they didn't have anything in their gloves. That could be a strong possibility. You know, that could be a strong possibility. But I've never seen a glove move like that or be so flexible like that as if it has something inside of it. You know what I'm saying? So whether it did, did or did not have anything inside of it, that still doesn't make your case if you want to make a case it still doesn't make your case so and then he says sometimes he may throw with an open hand uh, flick it out to make you think about this occupy you with something to hit you with something else yeah you got you got uh you got boxes to do that all he's all he's saying is correct you got boxes to do that he'll throw you throw away jabs or throw away some punches to come up with something else, to blind you with something else. Yeah, you got you got fighters who do that. That is true. You got Wilder who did that in his last fight against Luis Ortiz. He blinded him with a jab and it came straight with his right and knocked him out. So, yeah, we got fighters who do that. But that still doesn't... You still got to address the... Um, if you say that, you still got to address the uh, the left hook he did after that. Why is his left hook um, landing at his chin where it should, where the glove, top of the glove, is, la uh, is laying on the top of his head? So why is the damage being done on, on his chin? So you got to address that. So there's a lot of things that he's saying, saying that's true or should be said as a, as a boxer, as a trainer, as a spectator. Which makes sense, but it still doesn't address the issue. So there's a lot of there's a lot of uh, deflection in this article. There's no uh, there's no real uh, questions or questions being answered. We want to know why this glove is untied. We want to know a lot more questions. Why is his glove untied? Why is he? Why can't we? Why do we see his knuckles in the wrist area when he got knocked down by uh, Wilder in the first fight? These are the questions that we want to know and be answered. These stuff, this uh, the quotes that he's saying, what he said, are not addressing the issue. They're merely more so deflection. He's talking about what the commissioner does and how they are around twenty four seven. That still doesn't answer the question, you know. All that's it's it's going around the issue. And that's not what we want. We want the real questions that should be asked are not being asked because one, it's mainstream media. They're gonna be uh, 
not only is mainstream media, it's mainstream um, UK media. So the the questions are going to be very more so macro than micro. What do I mean by macro? I mean the detailed questions. What are the detailed questions that need to be answered? And they're not going to ask, ask those. They're not going to answer those questions. They're not. You know, this is not. <laughs> This is not this is not addressing anything. But you know uh <clears throat> what needs to be done is a a real investigation. This is not. Please like, comment, and subscribe and I hate y'all later.